Sastriyakal. I want to speak to everyone today about the proposal by the Quebec government to tax the unvaccinated. First of all, let me say this. There's no question that being vaccinated and our really high vaccination rate has helped uh, keep um, our country safe and has certainly uh, helped uh, keep down the hospitalizations and reducing the number of people who ordinarily would have been there for in the ICU. There's no question that vaccines help. But we also have to look at the compliance in our country. It's quite good compared to other countries in the Western world. We're probably about 12 to 13 percent of those who are eligible to be vaccinated uh, uh, have not been. Um, so overall, we've had a tremendous cooperation from, from our citizens. So if we look at the proposal then to tax the unvaccinated, it probably is constitutional because being unvaccinated likely isn't an identifiable ground uh, in terms of protection from discrimination by our, under our Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. But I think in my opinion, it puts us in a very slippery slope if Quebec does in fact tax the, the unvaccinated and other provinces uh, follow suit. Let me explain this. So taxing uh, a behavior, um, it's happened before, but usually in a positive way or giving tax credits, for example, for certain behaviors. But taxing a behavior that is not illegal per se is extremely problematic because where do we go next? Okay, how do we deal with smokers, for example? So they do pay taxes on purchasing cigarettes and other tobacco-related items. But are we going to put another tax because they are a burden on the hospital system? Are we going to do this to those who don't eat a healthy diet, those who drink alcohol? Where does it end? And you know, once a tax is implemented, it, it stays. And it leads to new taxation, new ideas on how to uh, collect money uh, for the government. In fact, punish those who are not behaving uh, in a way that, um, that the government feels that they should. So I think we have to be very careful. We have a universal health care system throughout our country. And that means everybody has the right and access to health care, really irrespective of behaviors. That's the choice our society made many, many years ago. And taxing the unvaccinated takes us one step away from that by dividing society, dividing people. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to encourage people not to vaccinate or to be anti-vaxxer, so to speak. I think vaccinations are the way out of this pandemic, have helped us certainly during the Delta variant, um, uh, perhaps um, also with the Omicron variant if, there, if there's boosters, and certainly it helps in terms of uh, the seriousness of the, of the infection. So don't get me wrong. I'm very uh, forward and uh, promote vaccination. However, I think it's a very slippery slope to even come up with ideas of taxing people based on uh, behaviors that are not illegal, um, but uh, the majority feel um, uh, is against their, what their choices would have been, such as being vaccinated. It's a slippery slope, and I would think that, and I hope Quebec doesn't go ahead with this, and I hope also that other provinces don't pick up this mantle. Um, you know, often we're overtaxed, but this is something that's not just overtaxation. It's something that's punitive and completely wrong, in my opinion. Thank you so much. Sastriyakal.